Boom shakalaka, huge warning signal for Bitcoin and some very important news for all of you XRP holders out there, XRP army, stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's episode, we are talking about some important news for Bitcoin and XRP, some big warning signals for Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin recently has been in this bullish megaphone pattern, these white lines here that look like a megaphone and it's kind of bullish. I wonder where they get the name from. But it's also found support on this four hour MA50, this blue line here. Now, it's even finding more support right now on the 61.8 fib, actually bouncing between the 61.8 and the 78.6 fibs at 26.445 and 27.244. So that's where Bitcoin is resting right now. Now, there's some important things that we should be looking at with Bitcoin in what's coming up because a lot of people were saying, hey, Bitcoin's going up $1,000 a day over the weekend. We might see a $30,000 Bitcoin by the 30th, by the end of the year. And while that still may be possible, if we actually draw out this chart a little bit more, all right, if we take a look at that, we just need to draw a line. And if we draw this out a little bit more, it looks like this won't actually meet until maybe the first week in January. So we may not have the Bitcoin price pinching up or down before then. But some things to look for on the way to $30,000. These are some important things. So Trump just signed a $900 billion coronavirus stimulation bill. And this is huge. This is 900 billion other reasons to buy Bitcoin, a hedge against inflation. Not only that, but we have regulations coming from mainstream Bitcoin. Now, a lot of you are like, wow, regulations. But actually, regulations are good because that allows a lot more money to flow into. Remember, there's $100 trillion sitting on the sideline waiting for these regulations so they can pour into Bitcoin. Also, the Bitcoin rebuttal at 28.4 is very healthy, according to analysts. As a matter of fact, consolidation is pretty normal. If, As we see the price go up before, the price goes up and... It consolidates, it goes up and it consolidates, it goes up, it consolidates, it goes up, it consolidates, it goes up, it consolidates. That's very healthy price action. It only consolidates until it can't consolidate anymore, and then the price continues upwards. Furthermore, we have some other things a record Bitcoin futures gap. Check out this CME futures gap. I'm gonna have to zoom in for this. Look at this, it's like three thousand dollars over the weekend because of Christmas, and also the stock to flow forecasts the high. So guess what? The stock to flow spot on with Bitcoin price. So things are looking really good for Bitcoin right now. And even if this price were to drop a little bit more because we're in a little bit of consolidation, it can't go up forever. I wish it could, but it can't. Even if we could, there's some very clear whale clusters at 23,000 409 that basically show that it would be next to impossible for Bitcoin to break through that price. Now, a lot of that comes because the last time that Bitcoin consolidated, it was right here. And look at that price, 23,409. Exactly right there. All of this huge whale cluster, whole bunch of people bought in. If Bitcoin were to break back down, it would be unlikely for it to break through all these FIB levels. But if it did, 23409. Now, whale sightings, on the other hand, are becoming scarce, removing downward pressure on Bitcoin. So that's pretty interesting. As we take a look at this chart here, we can see this shows whales depositing Bitcoin. Now, back here in the middle of December, we saw some whales depositing Bitcoin. However, right now, fewer whales deposit depositing Bitcoin, which tells us that more people are buying and hodling Bitcoin right now. As a matter of fact, Bitcoin whales are buying more aggressively since Christmas. If we take a look at this chart right here, the addresses with a thousand plus coins own 0.13% more Bitcoin since Christmas. Even though the prices are going up, the biggest Bitcoin addresses are buying more Bitcoin. It makes sense. This money, hundreds of trillions of dollars is sitting on the sideline. They want to get in. They want to get in before it takes off. We even have BlackRock, one of the biggest investment firms out there. They alone own like seven to nine trillion dollars of assets. They're looking to hire a blockchain VP with experience in crypto assets. And guys, if we needed any more proof, 2020 saw the fewest obituaries in Bitcoin since 2012. 
Okay? 11 obituaries. 2012, we had one. 2013, 17. And if you take a look at this pattern, this could mean one of two things. This could be people are starting to accept it, but it's just not mainstream because we looked at the last time when we had a huge pump in number of obituaries, 2017. That was when Bitcoin was all the rage. Everybody knew about it. It was a top search term on Google. That hasn't happened yet. But what happened right before that? Well, the number of obituaries fell down. And we see the number of obituaries falling down right before potentially another spike. So all of that, things are looking really great for Bitcoin. And I can't wait to see where it's going to go if I could erase all this stuff really fast. But basically what's going to happen is Bitcoin is going to get stuck between the 50 moving average, the blue line, this 50 MA, and the top of this bullish megaphone. I'll draw it in a different color just so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. This bluish line right here is going to keep on going up until it comes into contact and we have a wedge right here and then Bitcoin has to actually break out sometime up or down. My guess would be up just because there's so few Bitcoin available. There's so many people wanting to buy Bitcoin now and we haven't even hit retail FOMO. Now for all of you people who watched the video just to find out about XRP, man, bad news for XRP, even more bad news for XRP, Coinbase to suspend XRP trading following SEC suit against Ripple. We kind of saw this coming when some other lane exchanges delisted XRP. Well, now Coinbase, one of the biggest exchanges, suspending XRP trading. Now, Coinbase said users' XRP wallets will remain available to receive and withdraw functionality after the trading suspension. Notably, the exchange, the exchange said it will still support an upcoming airdrop of Spark tokens to XRP holders. XRP will still be supported by Coinbase custody and in the self-custodial Coinbase wallet. Now, for Coinbase, the reason for dropping XRP as a trading asset is simple. As the company seeks to go public, being a platform for something that's potentially a security would be made, meaning adding more paperwork simply so it could be legally allowed to let retail customers buy and sell a single cryptocurrency. The SEC claimed last week that XRP is a security and that Ripple has been selling it without registering or seeking exemption for seven years, raising $1.3 billion in the process. The legal battle itself is just beginning and litigation may take years if Ripple fights the charge in court, as it indicated it would. Uh, as an analyst says, crypto exchanges are unregistered with the SEC by choice as registering carries on many burdens and increased costs, and thus it's in their best interest not to offer trading for securities. It is in their protection, not their customers. Now, if we take a look at XRP price, this is the XRP BTC uh, chart here and we can see that ripple has just been dying i mentioned this a few weeks ago and we had this top upper upper trend line right here and at first we found some resistance here uh support there support here we've broken through pretty much all potential support for xrp basically right now xrp is trading about 888 sats there is no more support until we're down to 29 sats so if you want i'm not going to give you advice on ripple because i know you guys love ripple with all your heart but maybe you might want to sell some of your ripple now and then buy back in when it's at 29 sats because it doesn't look like this is going to end very long however if you're a contrarian trader you might see all this fomo and say hey this is going to turn out well for ripple which it probably will but that turning out well will be a few years down the line you may want to buy at a discount you may want to buy this long extended ripple dip so that in the future, when it is a publicly traded security, you can make a lot of money. So guys, that's it for the episode today. Today's episode was sponsored by Swiss Token. Swiss is a uh, Switzerland-based project made by the founder of the DeFi project Decash, which is up 30,000% since its launch in late June. Currently, the Swiss farming protocol has an APY of 367% with the Swiss ETH pair. Now, in early 2021, they'll also release their decentralized exchange platform, SwissSwap, which allows leverage trading and shorting of many cryptos. They hope to develop it with the University of EPFL, one of the many universities in Switzerland, such as HES, they have partnered with. The governance tokens of SwissSwap will be Swiss, and part of the transactions will be used to buy back Swiss. The liquidity in relation to its capitalization is supposed to be one of the strongest ever seen due to the brand new proof of volume mechanism, which allocates 2% of buy and sell transactions back to the liquidity pool. The team is also in discussion with potential investment funds such as Cocoricos and its Swedish Trust Fund. 
buy the Swiss token on Uniswap, and check out their website at swissfarming.binance. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Peace.